Welcome to this video about this past paper question, which has been asked uh, by one of my students uh, if I could help uh, him or her uh, with this question. Yeah, so it's important again to give credit to Cambridge examinations because this is their question, and I did not create it, but we are just here together to yeah to solve it. Okay, so what's going on? They say A is minus 2, 3, B is 2 minus 7, C minus 10, 21. And we have to answer three questions about that. Yeah? And this is a paper two type of question, yeah? so relatively short. Yeah, but before we start, what are A, B, and C? Now, some of you yeah, uh, perhaps will say, well, those are matrices. Yeah, they look like uh, matrices, two by one matrices. But a matrix usually is then given with a capital A, a capital B, and a capital C. And especially when you go to question II, uh, and I will explain later, yeah, you will notice that these are actually not matrices, no, they are vectors. These are three vectors because it's a lowercase letter and it's also in bold, yeah, and usually those are the vectors. Anyway, let's see what's going on. The first question, they say, find 2A plus B. And it's relatively straightforward. Well, what do you need to do? I have to multiply vector A by a scalar 2, yeah, so by the number 2, and then I have to add that vector with the vector of B. So if I multiply everything in A by 2, what is that going to look like? Well, that's going to be minus 4 and 6, yeah, because minus 2 times 2 is minus 4, 3 times 2 is 6, 2 minus 7 is B, yeah, so I just copied vector B. And what is that equal to? And as you can see, the answer needs to be a vector 2. They already put the brackets there. And then you just add the horizontal components with each other. Minus 4 plus 2. So that's going to be minus 2. And you do the same thing for the vertical components of the vector. 6 plus minus 7. And that is going to be minus 1. All right. Now, uh, especially when you have to subtract, uh, make sure if this would be minus, you do 6 minus minus 7, and then it will turn into 13. But anyway, it's a plus now, so 6 plus minus 7 is going to be minus 1. Okay, moving on to question II. Now, if this would be, a, yeah, if we're talking about matrices, then the notation would mean um, to find the uh, determinant of the matrix. Yeah? But you can only find the determinant and the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. Yeah? And the way you guys can only do it for a 2 by 2 matrix. Yeah? So it needs to have uh, two rows and two columns. But these only have two rows and one column. Yeah? So can you find the determinant of this matrix? No, you can't. Because these are not matrices. These are vectors. And for vectors, this notation means the magnitude of the vector has yeah? so how much uh, what is the magnitude of a vector b yeah and as you know a vector has a particular direction and a particular magnitude yeah so a particular size yeah? the longer the line the bigger the magnitude yeah? and the shorter the line the smaller the magnitude anyway so check my videos on vectors if you want to find out more let me just uh, make a sketch of this vector b Let's say it starts here, and then it goes two steps to the right, and then minus seven steps up. Yeah, so that's seven steps down, actually. So it would go two to the right, and then minus seven up. So let's say it is like that, and then the vector would go like this and in that direction. Yeah, that would be a vector B. Okay, where this is two, and that is seven. And hopefully now you can see, ah, how do I calculate the magnitude of a vector? And this is the notation. You do that with Pythagoras' theorem, indeed. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, please don't confuse this b with that b, by the way. Yeah, This is just a general uh, Pythagoras' theorem. Yeah, But we're looking for the hypotenuse. Yeah? So we're looking for the c. So I'm just going to continue writing c squared, and I'm going to do 2 squared plus 7 squared, yeah? 4 plus 49 equals c squared, so c is going to be the square root of 53. Now, of course, I didn't prepare, and I don't have a calculator here, so very quickly, I'm going to start my computer, 53, there we go, square roots. And then to three significant figures, please don't forget that. It's such a shame if you do, because you lose points, 7.28. 7.28, okay? So that would be the magnitude 
of this vector, okay? If these were matrices, we're talking about the determinant, which is something completely different. All right, moving on to the last question, III. They say vector A times M plus vector B times N equals vector C. And now I have to find the values of M and N, and I've got to show all my working. And I believe this is a four-point question. I'm not sure again. But anyway, some work is going to be involved, okay? Now, usually when you have to find the values of two variables, it's usually with simultaneous equations, isn't it? Okay, so let's, let's see if that is going on now as well. I'm just going to write down, so m times vector a minus 2, 3, plus n times vector b, which is 2 minus 7, and that has to equal c, which is minus 10. 21 okay so i just kind of copy those vectors there with those scalars in front of it uh, because then i think i can look at that fantastic technology guys beautiful all right let's have a go um if i would multiply it now minus 2m 3m yeah so i've multiplied my vector by m yeah minus 2m 3m i'm going to do that the same with the other one plus 2n minus 7n and that has to equal minus 10 21 and when you're adding vectors you add the horizontal components and you add the vertical components so now i can say that minus 2m plus 2n equals minus 10 and i can say that 3m minus 7n yeah, plus minus 7n equals 21 and those are my two equations which i can now solve simultaneously yeah two unknowns m and n um and there yeah, so i can and i have two equations and i have two unknowns two equations so i can solve it now there are various ways of doing that substitution method uh, my experience is that most students prefer the elimination method so let's let's do that we're going to eliminate one of the variables now doesn't matter which one m or n well i can't do that instantly because none of the coefficients are the same so i have to multiply i'm going to eliminate m by the way so i'm going to multiply this one by three and that one by two and please check my videos on simultaneous equations if you have no idea what i'm doing now yeah because you need to be comfortable with that because you're going to get a question like this minus 6m plus 6n equals minus 30 yeah multiply everything by three don't forget that last one and the next one 6m minus 14n equals 42 all right and now you can see the coefficients are the same so i can eliminate m i'm going to put a big line underneath it and just before i continue just very very briefly i want to tell you that this equation is exactly the same as that equation yeah i just manipulate the circumstances so i can work with it yeah so just a very quick example on the side five plus three is how much five plus three is eight very good now if i would multiply all of that by two yeah like i'm doing for instance here i'm multiplying all the terms by two then on this side it's going to say 10 yeah, five times two plus six equals eight times two 16 and as you can see that is still true yeah so they are the same they're both true i just yeah manipulating it now this one that's just an example to show you that this equation is the same as that one and that equation is the same as that one yeah this is not hocus pocus it's not abracadabra or anything like that okay careful now do i have to plus or minus it i have to plus it yeah because minus six m plus 6m that is going to be zero yeah always be careful there sometimes you have to minus it okay but now it's plus 6n plus minus 14n um, that is going to be minus 8n and that is going to equal uh, minus 30 plus 42 so what is that that is 12 isn't it so n equals 12 divided by minus 8 so I'm just going to put it here and is, what is that, minus 1, 4 over 8, so minus 1 and a half, yeah? I'm doing a few steps just to save some time uh, in one. Oh, there we go. So N is minus 1 and a half, okay? That is the value of M, no, of N. How can I find the value of M? 
Well, then I substitute this one in either one of the equations. It doesn't matter which one. So let's do the top one, for instance. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. Can I have a little bit more space somewhere? I don't think I can. Okay, so I'm just, yeah, I hope you can follow me. I'm going to substitute it now. So minus 2m plus 2 times minus 1 and a half equals minus 10. So I'm substituting the value of n in this equation, yeah, so I can find my value of m. So minus 2m minus 3 equals minus 10. So minus 2m, that's a minus, equals minus 7. Yeah, so I plus both sides by 3. So that one is gone. That becomes minus 7. Now I'm going to divide both sides by minus 2. So I can just squeeze it in over here. M is going to be 3 and a half, a positive 3 and a half. Now, my workings are disgusting. Yeah, so I apologize for that. It's not very structured, but that's just because... I don't have a lot of space on this screen, yeah, so I apologize for that. Now, if I have time left, I can check my workings by substituting n and m, uh, for instance, uh, yeah, over here in those vectors, and see if I get vector c. You can do that for yourself. I hope this was useful. Explainingmaths.com, eh? check my site, find me on Facebook, Twitter, ask me your questions, and um, I wish you all the best, okay? See you later. Bye-bye.